so friends uh, again i am with you with a topic that is the neat pg recall questions and this time almost 50 questions for you part 4 and if you mix all the parts it is almost more than 50 questions for you my dear friends i really worked a lot for uh, bringing this in front of you so without wasting the time i start very quickly all the things so the first question a pregnant woman comes for routine ANC checkup. She has history of twin delivery four years ago. Now the question is gravida and para is. So the gravida is two and para is one. As this is the second pregnancy, so yeah, so just remember this thing that is gravida is two and para is one. Now question two: toxic principle of the following substance. My dear friends, I just want to draw something for you and uh, uh, here the toxic principle is asked. So the marking nut is there, scientific num name is Semicarpus anacardium. The toxic principle is Bill 1O, B-H-I-L-W-A, Bill 1O, B-H-I-L-W-A-N-O-L. Next question is, Question 3. During playing, a child accidentally ingested one fruit following which he develops the dry skin, increase in temperature and third is retention of urine. So the name of the poison is atropine obviously that is Datura and DOC is physostigmine. Next question, question number 4. A child present with complaint of coin ingestion in ER. Now the I, I just uh, tried to draw x-ray. I know it is very bad. But uh, at least it give you an uh, idea. In the AP view, it is the, the coin is of rounded appearance. What I want to convey is. And in the lateral view, we see the margins of the coin. Right. So that is the coin is in the esophagus. Now next question 5, 45 years old men presents with the following skin changes. Uh, if you remember your question then uh, suppose this is the person whose neck is this which is black in color. That is called the Kiesel necklace seen in Pellegra. So as it is seen in Pellegra, so the answer is the dietary pattern history dementia and dermatitis so in this way we completed the five questions now question number six i again uh, try to draw something and uh, explain in front of you that is this is the x-ray appearance and if you carefully watch it it is like the snowman appearance so which is seen in ta pvc now question seven is a uh, baby was tachypneic on reaching the hospital after some time he or she will develop the carpopedal spasm. What is the cause? So cause is alkalosis. Question number 8. Which symptom is not seen in cocaine overdose? So bradycardia as cocaine will cause the tachycardia. So it is answer is bradycardia. Now question 9 is a patient is diagnosed with heredity non-polyposis colon cancer. It occurs due to mismatch repair. Next question, patient presented with the mediastinal mass was diagnosed with a pure red cell aplasia that is PRCA. The most probable cause of the aplasia is thymic neoplasm. Now question number 11, pap smear test of the reproductive age group lady showing the hyperchromatia, pleo, uh, plumorphism, prominent nucleoli, low maturation index involving almost all thickness the answer is dysplasia now the question number 12 is 34 years old woman presented with a fever migratory arthritis larger lower joints involvement with increase in crp and increase in erythrocytic sedimentation rate pansystolic murmur is also there and on eco mr is also diagnosed and biopsy will show what so biopsy will show the Ashcoff's body as it is the case of the rheumatoid arthritis so uh, biopsy will show the Ashcoff's body 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल यूजिंग द कॉन्टैक्ट लेंस प्रेजेंटेड विद द फॉलोइंग आई फ्यूज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई जस्ट अगेन ट्राई टू ड्रॉ समथिंग फॉर यू आई नो विट इज विच इज नॉट वेरी गुड सो दिस इज द अपर पेलपीब्रल कंजेंट टाइवा एंड इफ सच टाइप ऑफ फीचर इज प्रेजेंट देन इट इज क्लियरली देन इट इज क्लियर दैट इट इज द जॉइंट पेपुलरी कंजंक्टि वाइटस ना क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन सिक्सटी ईयर्स ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट present with history of the chronic fatigue anemia and massive splenomegaly his hemoglobin is 9 tlc is 120 platelet is 500 neutrophil 60 basophil 4 eosinophil 6% myeloblast 3 pro myeloblast positive band form positive increase h to e ratio the most specific further investigation is now friends as this is indicative of the cml that is the chronic myeloid leukemia so the investigation of the choice uh, will depend on the detection of the philadelphia chromosomes that is t922 so the answer is fish and pcr is the requisite investigation of choice now question number 15 a 6 year old child which is complaining of decrease in vision in the dim light has the conjunctival hyperkeratosis plus thinning and cyst, uh, softening of the cornea so what it indicates the deficiency of the retinoic acid that is vitamin a deficiency next question is poor prognostic factor of the multiple myeloma is answer is beta 2 microglobulin question number 17 all are increased in the iron deficiency anemia except that is the tibc soluble transferrin receptor transferrin saturation so transferrin saturation will not increase Number question eighteen twenty four years old male complained of the morning stiffness redness of the eye and X-ray the LSS spine. I just want to focus on the feature which is shown in the X-ray. So that is the dagger sign which will which you noticed in that X-ray. So the answer is ankylosing spondylitis. That is yes. Now question number nineteen. The patient present to you with generalized weakness and easy fatigue history of working in a factory. with exposure to the benzenes so which type of cancer you suspect the answer is blood cancer don't confuse in the your uh, bladder cancer it is the blood cancer the question 20 patient comes uh, to opd with white discharge from the urethra the most likely organism is neisseria gonorrhoeae question number 21 truck driver presented with a painless lesion in the penis in large lymph node so microscopic method best for visualizing the motility is dark field microscopy question number 22 which artery will carry the deoxygenated blood back to the placenta answer is umbilical artery so there are certain one words also question number 23 so position of the patient while intubation is head tilt and chin lift you work in the icu you will see this type of the position Question number twenty-four. Changes of the marbling seen after thirty-six to forty-eight hours after death. Now, patient uh, with seventy percent of the BSA burn culture test is the likely organism is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Question number twenty-six. This patient is given the spinal anesthesia. The last structure that needle pierces is the arachnoid membrane. So there are many one-word like question. So it seems the exams to be easy. comparatively to the last year and the question 27 which are included in the unicef global hunger index so under 5 mortality under 5 weight for age and population under nourished so question number 28 a person working in a stone quarry foreign body fall in the eye now the investigation of choice is mri in which you clearly see all the things question number 29 the hair perforation test is positive in trichophyton mento grophitis next question supra basal bulla with easily gets ruptured in is, is pamphigus vulgaris don't confuse it with the rickettsia it is pamphigus vulgaris question number 31 is 4d sign is seen in the niacin deficiency again one words question number 32 bupuvixane toxicity the management is 20% intralipid among the options available in that The twenty percent intralipid is the best suited option. Now, question number thirty-three: pain test is for which nerve? That is, answer is median nerve. Question number thirty-four: multiple humerus fracture. Patient unable to flex and supinate the forearm. As you know, the 
nerve which is responsible for the supination of forearm that is musculocutaneous nerve. So the answer is musculocutaneous nerve. The structure, next question is structure preventing the vertical descent of the spleen. Answer is phrenicocolic ligament. This is the basic anatomy question for all of you. I think uh, if somebody is study the basics, uh, the exam will be the exam uh, would be very uh, good for them. Which nerve is required for the gag reflex? Uh, so sagittal section, if you show uh, the posterior pharyngeal wall. So the ninth cranial nerve, as it is seen in the posterior pharyngeal wall, so ninth cranial nerve is there. Answer. Question number thirty-seven. Most common nerve injured after submandibular gland surgery. So the lingual nerve. If a mandibular gland is involved, the facial nerve is the answer. The question number 38, 55 years old patient uh, from Chhattisgarh presents develop progressive muscle weakness, stiffness of both the lower limbs and uh, complete motor paralysis. The most important history. History will be the, as you suspect the lethargism. So the dietary history is the most important history in that case. So the answer is dietary history. The question number 39. Mechanism of the methotrexate it competitively inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase. Question number 40. To attain the steady state concentration of drug in plasma, dosing of the drug needs to be in the balance with clearance. Now what is the formula for them? So the rate of the dosing is equal to plasma concentration into clearance. Again a basic pharmacological question. Question number 41. Patient presents with fatigue and tiredness uh, and TLC, DLC all normal. Superficial lymph nodes are enlarged. Biopsy lesion shows the efficacy the architecture with intended nucleus containing nucleus CD10 positive, BCL2 positive. So the answer is follicular lymphoma. All these markers are indicative clearly of the follicular lymphoma as well as superficial lymph nodes are also enlarged. Now question number 42, software engineer comes to the OPD with complaint of easy fatigability, gives history of the pure vegetarianness and uh, the CBC is hemoglobin 9, MCV is 120. So the co most common cause of anemia is cyanophobal, I mean deficiency. Now question 43, male child comes to you with leukocoria biopsy, shows the flexner right rosettes. So the answer is retinoblastoma. Next question from 44, question number 44, that is woman presents with a weak pulse in the upper limb, BP is 90 by 60, fundus examination shows the retinal hemorrhages and that will you see the answer is, the diagnosis is Takayasu arthritis. Question number 45, the pregnant woman gives endomethacin 25 mg TDS, what present in the child? So the child presented with Patent ductus arteriosus that is PDA question number 45 that was now question number 46 child presented with a whole body swelling his protein grade was 3 plus the answer is nephrotic syndrome next question 47 is a child known case of his CD4 count is 50 is very less which vaccine is avoided so among the options available the MMR vaccine is avoided Question number 48, patient belongs to the Gorakhpur in UP where there is maximum case of the encephalitis related case. So, route of administration must be subcutaneous route and a live attenuated vaccine you must give. Question number 49, CO2 plus pyruvate ask enzyme is pyruvate carboxylase. This is also the one word of question. Question number 49. Now, question number 50. The receptor for absorption of the glucose in the intestine when the person is given ORS is SGLT1. So many one word questions are there and if you observe uh, my first part, second part and third part, you will explore almost 75 plus questions at a single moment of time. Thank you my dear friends for being with me. Uh, mistakes may happen in this uh, preparation but uh, if you have any queries please post me in the comment box I will clarify you everything thank you